Thank you for bringing up Greg Riley because that is the link between it myself and, and veterinary dentistry is what Correct. we're talking about today. It's a very important topic and yep. of course we have Moppy here who's mm -hmm. just kind of hanging around to kind of you know give us some examples but she just loves the attention. So Greg tell us a little bit about the, the topic of dentistry. Well basically right now it's January mm -hmm. and February it's basically considered uh, dentistry month sure. within your veterinary hospital so what i've done is i've got a couple of examples of mop it happening mm -hmm. in dentistry okay and the biggest procedure that we're now experiencing and exploring is x-rays okay uh with your pet so this is mop it before she had her hair cut so right now she's been intubated she has her iv fluids going right now and i'm basically uh, getting ready to do a dentistry on her okay our next picture is obviously her first x-ray and you can see right there where the tube is going right up against her jawline. Now is she put under for x-rays? Correct. And that's different right. from humans because uh, is that something that dogs just really don't enjoy? Well it's not so much that they don't enjoy but what you need to do is have them stand still okay. so you know obviously when it comes to cats and comes to dogs they're mm. going to have to be under some anesthesia to get those pictures. Okay. So that's the reason why. Here's our computer sequence right here, and All this right. is the sequence that we're going to be targeting in Moppet's mouth, mm -hmm. what we're going to be trying to x-ray here. And the next sequence right here, we're going to be showing uh, Moppet and the computer right here. And um, we, can, we can take a look at Moppet. We can take a look like right the, here, yeah. yeah. Sure. So basically, I've got the uh, x-ray, getting ready to take on her mouth. She's still intubated. She's got a blanket to keep her nice and warm. Mm. And our next photo is going to show exactly what we're going to be looking at now. Okay, so, and what are we looking for in this picture? Exactly, good question. So a lot of people are like, well, why do you want to do an x-ray on your dog or your cat? And the biggest reason is what you want to do is find out what's going on underneath the tissue. Okay. So what we're looking at is pathology. So we can see the large molar on our upper uh, left-hand side. Okay, that looks pretty good. But take a look at the bone loss on the lower left. Sure. Pardon me, my lower right. Okay, sure. and that's the tooth that eventually from Moppet gets extracted. Um, otherwise, her teeth doesn't really look that bad. Sure, sure. Well, if you're and that's that's some. Uh, that's the extraction right there. Taking right. the teeth out. If you're a pet owner and you're kind of doing a self-examination, are there things that you can look for at home before you take them into the vet to the vet to uh, get them looked at. You know, obviously bad breath is going to be a really good one. Uh, say loose teeth. Uh, if your dog stops eating, uh, if your dog or your cat is just kind of lying around and not acting the same, and that's generally just because some people would be thinking, well, maybe they're getting older or something like that. No, it's just because the pain in their mouth has more or less uh, made the pet uh, get used to uh, experiencing it. So it's something that you may want to check out and have your local veterinarian uh, talk to you about. And here's a question that a lot of people have when it comes to dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. A lot of pets don't like having their teeth brushed or anything like that. What's the right. best way? Do you, do you prefer a certain type of treat maybe that clean uh, the gum in that area? Or, or what's the best way for owners to go about doing that, in your opinion? <laughs> Well, you know, that's uh, that's kind of a controversial question, <laughs> sure. obviously, because there are going to be certain people that will be like, well, I'll do the finger brush. I don't do the finger brush, mm -hmm. only because my dogs won't tolerate it. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people like to put this little enzyme in their water that the dogs will drink or the cats will drink to kind of help keep some of the plaque and tartar off their teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, there's various things that you can do. Uh, you know, some people really go crazy over greenies. Mm -hmm. So Greenies now, explain those. Uh, the greenies are those little green treats that, you know, they're a little bit expensive, but they're about like, you know, yay big, depending on the size. Uh, they will have this little, um, I don't know, it's kind of like this sticky, um, gnarly substance that helps knock off some of the stuff off their teeth. Gets the tartar off, and of course, yeah. dental hygiene, extremely important Definitely. for your pets. You remember it for yourself, so don't forget your pets when you're doing that. If you have any more questions for uh, Greg Riley, you can call the number at Brown Veterinary Hospital. Mm -hmm. That number's on your screen, 812-645-0715. Greg, we're going to see you a little bit later today for Pet Saver, right? Absolutely. All right, thank you for stopping by. Thank you.